Hey everyone, let's build Baby Pig's birthday celebration by LEGO Minecraft. This is set number 21281, contains 351 bricks, retails for $19.99, and this set was provided by the LEGO Group for early reviews. So thank you, LEGO. And that's essentially what we're going to be building. So we got a fox, a kid zombie, I'm doing that to annoy someone, <laughs> Baby Pig, the cake, Ocelot, Creeper on a Baby Llama. Isn't that adorable? And, yeah, let me put that over here. I had to read all the info off for that. And essentially, that's what we're going to be building today. It does come with three numbered bags. And let's see if we can spoil ourselves here. It doesn't look like it comes with a brick separator, so it looks like we'll have to ding this one down already. And three paper bags full of fun and excitement. And, yeah. And today is September 11th, 2024. Almost said 2001. Yeah, we all remember that bad day that happened. All right, let's begin. Let's build it. Let's get going. It's like 8.30 at night. Haven't done one of these in the evening for a while. And yeah, I right when I finished up a batch of reviews, more comes in. But at least this one here, we got a little bit more color and some interesting pieces that we could possibly use. All right, so it looks like we're building the zombie first. Yeah, we get some colorful parts in here. I haven't seen this in that color before. I have been working nonstop getting reviews done. And every time I turn around, I want to work on one of my projects. I got to stop what I'm doing. So you know how that's going. Now, I'm going to answer a question right now in here. And that's an uh oh. Uh, you know, I have to cover the camera. Now, I could do what I did with my tutorials and work like this, but I want to sit comfortably for an hour or two doing this. I don't want to have to, you know have to sit uncomfortably for that long to just put a set together and someday if anybody would love to donate I'd like I have a whole shop full of vacuum tubes valves electronic bulbs that I need to put in storage and I don't want to have to pay storage fees anybody like to pay for that let me know <laughs> then I can have a bigger place to work where the camera will be on a on a floating tripod then I can just point it and work right underneath it but until then, this is all I have. And these are not to be construed as video tutorials, all right? This is not a tutorial. This is not a how-to. Basically, and I, I, I may have to write this in the description, these are just my notes, my review notes to talk about the set. Uh, you know, I'm not here to show you how to build it. Sometimes I may get stuck on a problem. We'll have to work through it together. But most of these sets are pretty straightforward. So they're not meant to be a replacement to the official Lego build. You know, I have to say all that now. It seems like it's becoming more and more of a thing. Huh. But anyways, I've been slowly plugging away at getting reviews done. Ooh, purple one by threes. Those are cool. And just to make things even more simplified, I'm still working on the Michael Myers house in terms of proofreading. I hadn't had time. I've been doing stuff around the house, family chores, stuff like that. So you know how you know how boring that is. <laughs> uh, still haven't went on my vacation yet. Haven't done that. I got some three by three plates. I'm looking for another purple tile. There it is, right in front of me. But the video this person commented on was back in 2023. We're almost done with 2024, so yeah, it's I've improved since then. And sometimes I'll bring things up to the camera just to show you what I've done. So hopefully that will help. I'm not a professional by any means. I know my hands cover it up, but if I had to show each piece, you know how long it would take me? 
But anyways, though, I'm trying to do my best to make these better. I just don't want to have to throw away little hundreds, hundreds of dollars to do reviews. And I already had somebody already gotten mad at me for going to be switching to speed builds. And yeah, it's like, sorry, get more people to watch my regular reviews or my tutorials and I don't have to worry about speed building through them. Either way, I'm still going to build stuff and have fun. Well, at least these pieces are printed. I mean, I, I've never seen a Minecraft set that had stickers, or at least I don't think they make them, which is a good thing. So what I'm hoping to do here this evening is get this set done and reviewed quickly. And I'm going to hit the, hit the hay early. Duty calls tomorrow called work. There's the head and there's the hair. Okay. All right, and this goes on the top. His arms don't really go down, but he can sit and all sorts of stuff. Can he stand up? There we go, and that's it for the zombie. Now it looks like we're building the fox. We'll just have to have a seat here. Well, I guess you're not going to have a seat. We'll try that again. Okay, well, I guess you're not. So the intent of these videos is really just for my notes. Okay, I don't think I have a whole lot of these in that color. I'm looking for some of these with the clip on the top. Trying to do it like this one where you can see it. Now another solution is I can point the camera st straight down. All right? Because I'm not blocking the camera if I'm going straight down. I may try one of these builds like this. I may do it in here. I don't know yet. Or I could just bring it up and show it to you like that. I'm just trying to think. If anybody else has any suggestions, let me know. But remember, I'm not a professional by any means. And I don't ever claim that I'm a professional reviewer. This is this is meant for fun. Oops, I want to do that. I waited for the day when somebody complains I made too much mistakes. But hey, you know what? It's constructive criticism. I can't block them for that. Or somebody says, well, you can block them. No, I'm not blocking anybody for constructive criticism. That's, that's a whole different beast. We'll save the bannings for important things. I think that's how it goes. It shows it like that. You think they'd have this on the outside, but they don't. Yeah, so I'm getting ready to get done with the big building guide. The big one. I don't think it, it's going to be the biggest guide I've done up to date. The second biggest would be the uh, Amityville Horror House. Where did I come up with some of these house plans? Because people recommended them to me. They've asked me to build them. Okay, sure, I'll build them. I used to take. I used many years ago. I used to take requests on you know building ideas. Hey, what do you want me to build? Anybody can give me a suggestion. And the idea was suggested by, you know, and I still get requests from time to time. But that's pretty cool. This must be the tail. So at least, well, okay. At least it goes back and forth. It doesn't look too appealing back there. <laughs> yeah, all right. Let's continue on here and get this done. Yes, I'm kind of in a hurry. I want to... It's 8.30 at night, and... In fact, I don't even know what time it is. Oh, well, actually, it's... Uh, I might co It's about 9 o'clock now, but... That's printed. But at least... 
I'm getting stuff done here. I'm going to get this one done real quick. I just want to get, I got another set that came in. I can't talk about it. Um, even though if that set's supposed to be released before this one, this one's shorter in terms of piece count. The other one I got to build is 1,400 pieces. And I thought, well, let me get this one done first since it's quicker. It's, it's not due till later, but let me do this one now because then I can get it out of the way. And it, yeah, and I'm going to try to do all these reviews before I head out of town just so I can, I don't have to do them when I get back. Because I don't want to have to start a set and then that's it. As a matter of fact, I just got done with, oh wait a minute, you don't have got to do, put a plate behind there. Now I'm being silly. I just got done with proofing one of the Fortnite sets, so it's done. I just haven't had a chance to get all the graphics done yet. Yeah, I still actively play Minecraft, uh, maybe only about a few hours a week, but I still play it. And for the most part, I don't know how some of the veterans say they don't like the new stuff. I like extra stuff to do in the game. Because here's the deal. I could just get Java and just play the old versions if I want to be stuck in... What was the legacy one everybody was happy with? 1.7.10? No, it's a kind of a kind of a dinosaur Minecraft, but it, you could always download the old snapshots and the old versions of it and play it. It kind of makes you appreciate it a bit more. Okay, make sure you put your printed piece like that. Somebody cussing up a storm? I think I put this one in backwards. Now remember, there's no brick separate. No, I did put it in right. Oh, I see where it goes. Now, if there is cussing in here, I'm going to have to uh, mute part of the video. Or just turn off the internet. Usually that, uh, that stops it. I wish I was a teenager. And, oh, I didn't have to worry about bills or anything, and I get to, I get to do this, but it's not a, not like I can just sit down and do nothing all day. And there we have the fox. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, now we have the cake is a lie. Well, we'll see how much of a lie it is. And so far, all this stuff is snotted. It's not. It's not just some easy builds. We're snotting things together. It, it's not a hard set to put together. So far, it's it's keeping my interest still. These are just more like display creatures than anything else. I'm sure you could probably play with them, but... I think the cake is meant to be torn apart. There we go. At least there's only three bags that we have to worry about. Okay, we got to make two of these now. I think the reason why a lot of people are asking questions like why am I covering up the camera because most people are doing this right here and that's all you see. There's no explanation, there's nothing on that and I'm the only channel that seems like it's doing slow pace. There was another guy that was doing them on here about the same time I was and he just stopped but he was doing vintage sets, really old school stuff and he had to stop for unforeseen circumstances. Uh, I'm not going to get into that. That's up to him to talk about, but he had to stop due to that purpose. And, you know, it was understandable, too. Sometimes we just can't do this all the time. 
And I think the next time I'll I may have to do the camera straight up for these. See if we can try that out a bit more. Because I notice the camera is like this. This is how I expect you to see it. But right here, that's about two inches from the top. You're looking at it almost dead on. I may have to just bring the camera where I'm at, which is like this. So I'm going to try that and see. So I may do that while I um, fade out here. So this is meant to take apart. break a piece of the cake off and then since it's baby pig's birthday we can put a candle on there you now with the modern candles you think they would have stuck one of those on there and this is what we have remaining here for bag one that's not too bad Okay, now we're going to move on to bag two, and it's been like six hours later. <laughs> so, I'm going to try to get this done here before bed, and looks like we might be building the piggy next. We don't know. There's only three bags, so we really don't know, and I changed the camera angle just to see if this is any better. Looks like we're building the ocelot instead, so I don't know. Making sure I opened up the right bag. Alrighty. Let's see here. Uh -huh. Well, we obviously have the right color so far, so that's good news. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of goofing off. I was watching a little bit of the Planet of the Apes, and I just got done proofreading building guide number one of the Michael Myers house, and I managed to follow along that, so it's pretty good. And I just got to do manual number two, which hopefully that goes very well. Now let me know if this angle seems like it's a bit better. I think I just zoom in, but always bring it up to you and sorry it's white on white I, I don't want to spend too much time just fiddling with the camera but at least uh, I'm getting that building guide done yeah well, here's something that's printed but yeah I'm just oh, I thought this and another set I want to get done before my vacation starts and I, I want to get it done just so I can do it before I leave, at least get it filmed, because I don't want to film part of it, come back and then try to remember where I, where I left off, because that's never good. And yeah, we'll see what we can do there. Um, and for the most part, this set seems pretty good. It's it's more on the average side. It's got color, though, at least. Is it keeping my interest? It's your typical Minecraft build, so I would have to say probably... Yeah, I'd say yes, because I was playing Minecraft earlier, so yeah. Alright. Yeah, I sound a little tired. I want to get this film before I go to bed, because I want to start the big set. Well, so that now today's the 12th of December, but I want to start our December, September. Maybe I do need to go to bed, but hopefully I can get it all done and ready to go. So far it's set. Um, doesn't come with a brick separator, so I'm going to drop it down a little bit. Build quality seems pretty good. Build experience is average. But I, I have to say, this is not your typical flaky Minecraft set. I haven't had anything fall apart. Wow, two friction stubs that are different colors. Seems like kind of like the style of one of my builds. There's another printed part. What would you use those printed parts for? You can mix and match them and make them into some kind of a mosaic like this if you wanted to. 
and you know, I, you could use them for modern art. You can use them. For, you can use them for anything you want. That's the beauty of Lego, though. You can just imagine something and just appreciate its, you know, its values. And so we did th three items in the first build of the first bag. The second bag looks like we're just doing two. And the third bag, I think there's seven in total, so that's how we're going to do it. I don't know. <laughs> I'll tell you, one thing is for certain. Um, I really do need to get these sets done pronto. This one's not too bad. I wasn't expecting two of these to come in at once, but even if this one's not due till later, I... Maybe I should have started the other one first. Okay. Well, I don't think that's going to do anything. There we go. I think that's how it goes. Yep. We didn't mess up. Pretty cool. All right. Let's see what we have next. And that is the little the birthday pig. Right, we found the eyes. Looks like I found the nose. And I know a lot of you guys out there hate pink and pastels and purples. and, and <laughs> For me, these are a treat to see because I don't see any of these colors in modern sets at all. It's I know there's some guys out there who, who just cringe on these colors and for me I welcome them just because they're cool and you can use them not only for making stuff like this but you can say it's faded red and at one time maybe a little lighter than this I actually had my hair that color oh I got a lot of grief over that one <laughs> yeah so it's not just a girl's color what do they say? Real men wear pink? It's hard to say. And if you do your hair that color, boy, you really are a man. And if you do your hair red anyways, it's going to fade out to that color anyways. So, just from experience. Well, that one's not printed. But I do save the printed pieces because, like I said, these could be used for modern art. If you put enough of them together, you can have yourself a nice abstract art be a good idea for that okay that's what we've done so far no, not too bad pretty easy this is a very straightforward build I don't think I need to show close-ups of everything it, it, there's not any heavy snot or anything like that now, I did was watching one of my other videos, and I found out the camera was more on top, and people seem to like that more, so I may start doing what I'm doing now. What I'd like to do eventually is sit right here and have the camera kind of above me. I'd like to figure out a way to do that somehow in here. I only have about two foot to work in here. <laughs> Yeah, it's a small room. I don't want to have to think of something, but, yeah, you know, like that. What would you use this for? I heard to say what I'd use that tile for. Yes, I've already got plans for parts out of these. This is going to be, after I'm done reviewing it, it'll be a nice parts donor set. Somebody had asked me, do I give this stuff away? I wish I could, but I'm not allowed to. So it's... Uh, Kind of a sad thing, but that's I have to follow Lego's rules. Although they say I can toss it in the garbage, which I will never do. Because Lego is expensive, and yeah, that's just kind of kind of being wasteful and silly. I don't be hiding my parts. 
Yeah, I'm satisfied with this set so far. At least it's colorful. It's not lame and boring. It looks like they got a, sells a party hat. And that goes on the top here. Yeah, it looks like this just fits here. So I guess the pig's head can just do this. That's not too bad. And... Well, that's it for bag two, with just a few pieces remaining. Finally, we have bag three. And I think this one wraps, wraps up with the creeper. And... I drop on the floor, I don't know. I think it wraps up with the creeper and the, and the baby llama. So we got some technic going on here. Well, obviously, we can tell it's the creeper now. <laughs> That's what he looks like when he blows up. Now, this bright green, this is the green we've all been using, but this this one over here, this I'm starting to, it's starting to grow on me a bit more, so I'm trying to collect a bit more of it. I get questions asked, where do I get all my parts from? Here, I, I won't answer that on my main channel, but here I'll answer it. It sets just like this one. I also get my stuff from loose bins. I get some of my parts from Pick a Brick and Brick Link, all those stuff. I don't just buy prime parts from Lego. I mean, sometimes I'm looking for a piece that's out of production. And I don't, no, I don't buy custom parts. Some say I should, but I don't know. in there. That's what it looks like so far. Alrighty. See, I don't really have a lot of these in that bright green. There's a lot of parts in here right now, and uh, at least it's not white. I haven't seen those in green before. Yeah, I mean, this has got some good parts in here. All right, what's going on here? Oh, the battery's about to die on the phone. Oh, I kind of, kind of figured as much. Yeah, I may sound tired, but I want to get this done. So when I do the review, now it doesn't mean I sound bored or anything with it. That's just because that's just something else. You know. Now the thing about some of these sets. Here's the creeper. Do we have the top part? No, not yet. Oh, you know, at least they're using the normal colors for the creeper. That's how he looks like in the game. He used to be the pig until it didn't turn out right, I guess, and they just made him into a creeper. It's like me with tutorials, or mocks for that matter. Because before it becomes a tutorial, it has to be a mock. And sometimes I'll build a mock, and it's not what I expected. I'll build one thing, and like three revisions later, it's something else. Yeah, I've been watching some of the free movies on YouTube. <laughs> some of them I haven't seen in so long, and it's like, oh, cool. And there's, um, and I'm not sponsored by YouTube, and neither is the other one I'm mentioning, but Pluto is something else I've been kind of watching. Mostly just background noise, but it's at least something to listen to. And yeah, we gotta build two of these now. And I just been 
kind of just listen to television. I'll tell you, I don't miss TV one bit. When I was a kid, it was really cool. Now today, it's... If you want to hear beeps and blips through all your TV shows, then yes, so be it, but I don't want to hear it. Okay. Alright, make sure that the black is on our left over here. I'm trying to match the book here. And but you know, for the most part though, that's this is how I get my parts, is just from random sets. Just you know why? Because where do most of us buy Lego at the store? A lot of us, including myself, don't have a Lego store close by. Matter of fact, I've never been inside of a Lego store. Hard to believe. And In fact, I may even contact Lego and say, what qualifies? What are the prerequisites to get a Lego store in your area? Is it just people have to spin like crazy to get one? Is it geographical location, you know? I kind of wish where I live at there was a store. I mean, maybe it's a good thing because I'd go broke. I know some guys literally spend thousands a month on this hobby. Uh, here I am. I'm kind of like... Penny pension. I know a buddy of mine who goes to Goodwill to get a lot of his loose bricks. And he finds some good treasure troves. Like just good stuff. So far that's what these look like. But he finds some really good parts. And now it's yeah, like out here I can't find anything. I went to couple load of my uh, thrift stores and junk stores and the only thing I could find is the big blocks of the uh, of the other brand and you know the ones for the kitties and it's not something I'm willing to buy All right. okay I know the other day I got contacted by another. These don't rotate. I thought they did. Uh, by a brick company, wanting me to. Uh, we got to build two more or something here. I think these are mirrors. Um, another brick thing wanted me to. Wanted me to promote their stuff, and I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm only. I'm already involved with the building toy. And. That was the end of that. And Lego now has been asking us not to do that because it confuses fans. And I mean, I'm not buying another or getting involved in another building toy. I mean, unless it's something like Lincoln Logs or something, but or wooden blocks. But I'm not going to get into something that looks like Lego. If you're in one of those companies, you know, I'm sorry, but no, uh, this is more than enough for me you know and two legos made a little bit better all the bricks are the consistent size at least they try to anyways is what they claim and you know i prefer this product over anything else okay make sure the black is on this side here i haven't seen those in dark green before but I prefer Lego over any other product. It just works. Plus, we grew up with this stuff. You know, a lot of us have. You now, some people kind of freak out. Why does grown men get into this? A lot of us... When I was a kid, I didn't have all this stuff. I didn't have all these awesome pieces. You know, I didn't even have a fraction of what I had today. I didn't have a whole lot of it. I have a buddy of mine online that had almost... He, he got Lego left and right. Well, I never did. Now, as a as an adult, I can I can buy a lot if I want. <laughs> you know, I don't have to wait for allowance day. Well, no, there is. It's called payday, but I have to pay bills and all that stuff first. And once I have some left over, I can 
you know, indulge myself and blurge, splurge a little bit on parts. Yeah, I was just, just relaxing tonight and kind of forgot all about this set. Take these up. That's what we're going to have to do to twice. Okay. I'm going to film the review on this one tonight. Yeah. So if you're getting this, so I think the legs of the creeper kind of just come out like this. So that's what it does. So I think the head goes on there. Well, that's what we're going to be building next is the head. But one thing we were all talking about, what happens like after I'm no longer on this earth? You know, we were talking about my dad and, you know, kind of miss hearing him talk and stuff like that. And uh, even my mom's like, you know, you're preserved. Your voice is on YouTube and stuff like that. I'm like, yeah. I said, I just back up my stuff. And she goes, yeah, even you'd be still be heard long after you're not here. I said, it just depends on how long YouTube's around. I wonder what that's for, unless the head's supposed to tilt. Or... I don't know what that's for. But I'm going to... But I'd like to try to preserve everything I can build as much as I can, because everything that I preserve now, it could be shared. It's like building with... You know, blocks. Um, you know, how am I going to preserve these ideas? It's like printed building guides. I can preserve them. At least my ideas from my mind and my imagination will be preserved. Maybe this is supposed to be where you see it. What is the TNT in there for? It's kind of odd to have that in there. It looks like the head goes on there. Okay, be very careful. It's got to be like this. So that's what's inside his noggin. And what's this for? Yeah, it shows that it swings open. Like this. Oh, you know what? They stick this in here like that. And then close it. I think it's meant for them to make that noise. So... He can walk and talk and <laughs> sounds kind of hollow and tinny, but there you go. I mean, that looks pretty darn close to the one in the game. His head turns around and all that stuff, so it's not too bad. All right, now we're going to be building the baby llama. Now, I was trying to look for one of these dark orange bricks. I don't have a lot of them. I was going to use them for a project, but, well, you know how that goes. And I don't want to spend money on a pr project that may be iffy. Ooh, these come in dark orange. We don't want to lose those. But I have them in nougat, but I don't have them in that color.
trying to see if I can get this done here. <laughs> and I'm not going to lie to you, this is a kind of like a bedside build. And it's almost 3 in the morning. I uh, haven't really been, I haven't slept well in the last day or two, so I'm going to get myself really tired and I'm going to be working from home later on, so I just need to get done with work and that's it. Okay, stick those in like that. I like it when Lego brings out new pieces and new colors. So I gotta remember when I do the review, the creeper and the cake. Everything else, you know, it's just... I think what I'm gonna do with this one here, I don't think it needs a close-up view. I'm gonna leave it on the table and just talk about pieces as we're going and it'd just be easier and just combine it with the review. that's on the top I think we're fine <laughs> okay there's the llama those things like to spit especially when you walk up and hit them it's like I hit them and dodged behind the uh, behind that trader and let the llama spit on you <laughs> it's always fun I like it when they spit on the on a on a hostile mob like a skeleton or a zombie next thing you know they just like a battle. You gotta make four of those. Yes, I'm starting to yawn. <laughs> I'm gonna get this done here because the next set I want the next set that's coming up is something I want to build. And it's gonna take some time and I wanna I want to get the review done before I head out and then that'll give me some time when I get back to start editing because at that point I only have a week left and I want to come back and then do that or split it. So that's the legs right there. Pretty cool. And Three by threes, those are kind of cool to have, you know. As a kid, we didn't have those. Now we do. Okay, well, now we know this is the top. I bet it goes on like that. print on that well I got a, at least I didn't print on the jumper plate because I don't have a lot of those I've been trying to hoard them up this doesn't go on next All right, so oh oh we got some of these in dark orange these one by threes so I could use those Jay you're really gonna part that whole thing out yeah you betcha I'm done once I review it it's I hate to say it, it's going in the parts bin when I'm done. There you go. Those things are nasty. Okay. And that's it. Everybody's here for the birthday party. Okay. This is what we have remaining here. Now we're going to start setting up, and I think what I'm going to do, we're going to see how we can do the camera on this here. Um, okay, I'm going to tip you forward here for a bit, and if somebody's going to tell me they're seasick, well, I got to do, I have to do this. 
and what I'm gonna do here, and I can just edit that out, but you know how I am. I gotta keep this, I gotta keep it real here. I don't wanna just censor these and script them. All right, let me uh, stand behind the camera here. Doing this sideways is kind of a brute. So, I mean, I try to line it up with the horizon on the workbench. I can't wait for my seafood platter. What am I doing? I'm doing reviews. Okay. Creeper's the tallest. Let's, let's, let's base everything off the creeper here. focus. For the most part though, I'm pretty satisfied with the set, but it's just your typical Minecraft set. I mean, there are some cool pieces in here. I like the figures. And I am still knocking down trees off that amphitheater. Hold on. Matter of fact, I got a bunch of sets and everything around me right now. It's just tall. I have tall sets. And what makes it really bad is Hoping nothing falls and breaks. All right. For the most part, at least I know all the characters. Now these are meant, if you want, you can have things stand on. You can have stuff right on the back. And you know, I don't know if you want to, but let's see here. We'll put the pig in the middle here. <laughs> yeah, that's really going to be a fun one to annoy the kids, huh? Rattle that all the time here. There we go may have to back this up all right let's see here let's have him stand up he doesn't stand up very well there's always one in the bunch and practically we're cutting off somebody here so yeah it's a it's a lot of stuff here see basically it's six figures and you get a cake. How am I going to do this if I want to take a picture of this? This he just wants to fall. Okay. I hope the poter guy in the house doesn't do this. And I think that's it. Let me bounce this back. You know why I have to stop? I got about 60 seconds left because the camera's full. Let me go and empty it out. We'll come back and we'll do the final review. Here is Baby Pig's birthday all assembled. And this is a nice set of brick-built figures. We're going to start off with the cake, which is never a lie. And this does come apart, so you can take off pieces if you choose. So you get three in total. And the rest here are brick-built animals. So right here, we got ourselves a little fox. His tail moves and his back legs move and such. I may have that on backwards, I don't know. It seems like, well, maybe it's supposed to be like that so he can sit. Pretty cool. Next, we have the kid zombie and... It's hard enough as it is that he can't stand very well, but he also doesn't sit. So, it's kind of a challenge. Everything's flexible, but this should have been made a little bit wider in the back. Maybe have him wear bell bottoms, but he actually stands better than he sits. And then we have our ocelot. Now, all the graphics you see here are all printed. There's no stickers, which is even good. So this one here sits. Then we have the baby pig with the party hat on. His head does rotate. He can, he can only do that. He can't say yes or no. <laughs> here we got the baby llama. 
the legs do independently move. And too bad these things don't spit, because that's always the fun part in the game when they spit on you. And then finally we have the creeper. Legs do move about. And in addition, it's really to annoy the, the kids. There's something in here you can open this up and basically it's something that says TNT inside, but there's just a little slope in it that they use for the rattler. I guess they were trying to make it sound like it was a real creeper. But nonetheless, so this is a nice brick-built creeper at that. The colors are pretty accurate. And for the most part, I'm very happy with the way this set turned out. It's really a nice build for what it is. Especially for just a bunch of brick-built animals and figures, or mobs, if we should call them that instead. And except for this guy here, it's probably the only one that doesn't want to stand up. Especially the cake is a lie. Now we're going to start the review with play value. And yeah, these can be played with for the most part. It looks like you can play with them. And you can just do some role playing and have things attack one another. I'm sure you can do that. Too bad it didn't come with Steve or Alex, it would have been better, but you can play with these. Now, these obviously can't be dropped in a Lego City unless you want to make them into some sort of statues or part of a theme park, but these are just meant to be shelf queens or dust collectors. <laughs> but also, the set does have a nice selection of parts, so these bricks could be used for other creations, or you can take bricks from your own collection and build upon this and make it bigger, add a backdrop to it. There's plenty of things you can do here. Build quality is pretty good. I didn't have anything fall apart while I was building the set, and while playing around with it, nothing broke. That's even better. The only issue is this zombie. Very top heavy, so they could have just beefed it up a bit. Other than that, though, everything in here is rock solid. I didn't have anything disintegrate <laughs> while messing around with it, so that's pretty good. Now, the only drawback with this set is that there is no brick separator with this build. So if you make a mistake, you're going to have to rustle one up. Now, just from my observations on this set, up to seven people can build this set at the same time. Yes, up to seven people. Everything here you see is isolated. So it's possible from one to seven builders can construct the set at the same time. That's really good. That's a nice collaborative project for a weekend for a family to sit at the dinner table and just build this be a nice little collaborative group project and I was pretty pleased with putting this together it uses nice bright vibrant colors it kept my interest throughout the build so for me personally this is a winner now my final score is going to be a 9.5 out of 10 because of the brick separator wasn't missing that was the only issue if this set had a brick separator it probably would have been a 9.9 .9 to 10 just because it's not a a minifigure scale model, but it would have been pretty close. So it seems like LEGO missed this one with the perfect score. But for me personally, it's a nice set if you're into Minecraft or you just need this for parts. A lot of earth tone colors. A lot of these pieces I can use for my own creations. But tell me what you think.